Do not miss this video. In this video, I am going to examine the work of American and China Kurds in Afghanistan. Since 2001, when the United States occupied Afghanistan under the pretext of fighting terrorism, the people of this country have been living in poverty and insecurity, but this occupation has also been costly for the United States. The issue that led Trump and subsequently Biden to the conclusion that they must leave Afghanistan forever at any cost. In connection with the two decades of U.S. spending in Afghanistan, Brown University has recently estimated in a comprehensive study that the country spent a total of $2.26 trillion for the war in Afghanistan in the last 20 years, which began on September 11, 2001. Afghanistan has spent. This means that this war has cost the United States $300 million per day, and its per capita cost is $50,000 per Afghan. In the continuation of this study, it is stated that the $2.26 trillion spent in Afghanistan included more than $800 billion of direct war costs and more than $85 billion spent on training the defeated Afghan army. But from Johnny's point of view, the war in Afghanistan has caused the death of 2,500 American soldiers and nearly 4,000 American civilian contractors. At the same time, 69,000 Afghan soldiers, 47,000 civilians, and 51,000 militants have been killed. Now this question comes to mind, what has been the benefit of all the money and lives of America for the people of Afghanistan? After two decades of military occupation of Afghanistan, America withdrew its forces from this country. While the security, economic, and social situation of Afghanistan had not improved compared to 20 years ago, analysts believe that the military presence during these years has not achieved anything except billions of dollars in damage and the death of a large number of American soldiers and NATO members, and the death of thousands of Afghan citizens. Also, Afghanistan's experience refutes the past claims of American supporters. Claims that the U.S. has entered any part of the world and contributed to its development. If the United States had invested in the economic, social, and cultural development of Afghanistan during the last two decades, Afghanistan would undoubtedly be far ahead of the current miserable situation in terms of development. Besides, the democracy considered by America in Afghanistan did not even appear to go beyond the government citadel in Kabul. Lack of political consensus, poverty, administrative corruption, and weak rule of law have been the most important internal challenges after the presence of foreign forces. America also failed in eradicating terrorism and extremism in Afghanistan. In recent years, the soil of Afghanistan has always been a breeding ground for terrorist attacks. And after the withdrawal of the American military, other extremist groups have emerged. Undoubtedly, after the irresponsible withdrawal of the United States, the movements of terrorist groups will increase. The unfortunate situation of women and girls in Afghanistan is the result of America's ineffective strategy in this country. Biden had promised Afghan women and girls that he would support their rights after the withdrawal of American soldiers. A promise that was empty like many of your other promises. In connection with the continuation of humanitarian aid to Afghanistan, the case is the same. Another ominous legacy of America for the people of Afghanistan is the flood of immigrants and refugees sent to other countries. Until today, Afghanistan's neighboring countries have hosted several million Afghan refugees, but recently, China has shown interest in investing in Afghanistan. China is not the first country to try to stabilize Afghanistan. Will Beijing succeed where the United States and the Soviet Union failed? In order to expand its economic and political influence in Afghanistan, Beijing has increased investments in this country in recent years. In 2023, a Chinese company signed a contract worth $450 million to explore and develop oil reserves in northern Afghanistan. In April, the Taliban regime announced that it was in talks with a Chinese company to explore and develop Afghanistan's lithium reserves. Some in Beijing hope to succeed where other major powers have failed and somehow stabilize what has recently been a turbulent country. Unlike the United States, the Soviet Union and the United Kingdom, which targeted Afghanistan's borders with military attacks, 
China's involvement is more focused on economic and diplomatic aspects, with a negligible military element. China's interaction with the current Taliban regime is influenced by several factors, including the desire to exploit the wealth of Afghanistan's natural resources, prevent the spread of extremist ideology, and secure China's own strategic interests. Afghanistan is rich in minerals and resources such as coal, oil, copper, iron, lithium, and rare earth minerals, and it seems that Chinese companies are eager to access these materials. Moreover, as part of its Belt and Road Initiative, China seeks to expand its political and economic influence in the region, and Afghanistan is the weak link in this chain that extends from China's Xinjiang region to Europe. The initiatives undertaken are diverse, from infrastructure projects to mining and energy development. One of the most important projects is a huge copper mine in Mess Anak, which will give China access to one of the world's largest copper reserves. China also invests in iron and gold mining projects, agricultural sector, as well as oil and gas exploration. Infrastructure development projects include the construction of roads and bridges, the restoration of the Salang Crossing, and the rehabilitation of the Kumar and Lagman roads serve as an early demonstration. Future plans include connecting Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan with Pakistan through railways and highways that pass through Afghanistan. The impact of Chinese investment in Afghanistan is far-reaching and has significant implications for the country and the region as a whole. Infrastructure development will help improve Afghanistan's transportation sector, and developing the mining sector will provide the Taliban regime with much-needed cash. The Taliban see China as a key stakeholder in Afghanistan's economic development and appear eager to increase Chinese investment, especially as Western aid ends. Chinese investment has helped the Afghan economy and provided a form of legitimacy to the Taliban, who are desperate to prove to ordinary Afghans that they can run the country. Investment in lithium projects, estimated at $10 billion, will create more than 100,000 jobs over the next five years. China signed many contracts with the previous government of Afghanistan. The AMU Daria project, which was estimated to generate $7 billion in revenue for Afghanistan and create 3,000 jobs, was one such project currently in full swing. U.S.-Soviet conflicts with Afghanistan did not come to fruition due to military actions and insurgencies that hindered any development efforts. Chinese traders may not face a similar hurdle in the future, at least not in the short term. Currently, there is no similar action like the Mujahideen uprising against the Soviet Union or the Taliban insurgency against the United States. Unlike in the past, almost all of Afghanistan's neighbors, Iran, Pakistan, and Central Asian countries are likely to cooperate and do nothing to hinder China's designs in the region. The main threat to Chinese companies will be the ISIS branch in Afghanistan known as the Khorasan branch, ISKP, which will continue to pose a serious challenge to the security environment of this country. It remains to be seen whether the Taliban can confront ISIS or not. To do so, they must transform from a rebel group into a nation-state capable of providing security, a task fraught with many challenges. The Chinese may realize that throwing money at a problem cannot solve it. Over the past 20 years, the United States has provided more than $150 billion in aid to the previous Afghan regime, with mixed results. With the increase of the literacy rate from 5% in 2000 to more than 30% by 2021, significant progress has been made especially in the education sector. As a result, compared to other countries present in Afghanistan, China seems to have done the best and played the most useful role. After two decades of military occupation of Afghanistan, America left this country without achieving its desired goals and the security and economic situation of Afghanistan had not improved. On the other hand, China emerged as an important investor and developer in Afghanistan. This country has made significant investments in various economic fields, including the exploration of oil resources and important mines such as copper and lithium. 
These measures somehow allow Afghanistan to access rich natural resources and develop various economic sectors and can help improve the country's financial situation and create employment. Also, China has largely not focused on military policies and its interventions are more focused on economic and diplomatic affairs. From this point of view, China seems to be improving Afghanistan and securing its own interests. Thanks for watching.